I see a kitty out there. Well, hello. How are you? Nice to see the kitty. Oh. Wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello. This way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hello everyone. Hey everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey, Steve, and Mark. Why? Yes it is. Welcome or welcome back. Yes. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Best day of the week. Terrific Tuesday. Terrific it is. It is indeed. The best, best day. Our it was day. a mediocre Tuesday today. Yeah, it, it was. was. It was just a Tuesday. <laughs> it was. Just a Tuesday. Yeah. Beautiful weather. Oh yeah. We Beautiful are weather. experiencing some nice weather here. Beautiful the weather. The sun was out all day long and it was like... A tad bit brisk, like it was. Like yeah, it, it was. So the sun was warm. Yeah, it, yeah, it was nice. And it's allergy season. Couldn't get my nose ring in. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are itchy. Like, um, yeah, a headache in the back. Luckily, I know that's what it is, though, because cold medicine and like allergy medicine is helping. Uh huh. So I'm I, like that three percent lack of immunity to the Rona. Mm -hmm. It's not that. So yeah, I'm good to go. So yeah, thankfully it's. That's all it is. I'm very happy about that. Well, I feel better today. Um, you look better. Yeah, a little better? bit improved. Not that you look, all, yeah. not that you look bad. But. Well, no, I had a rough um, almost week. Yeah. You know, uh, starting the new trip. Well, I talked about it yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> I talked about it yesterday, and and you probably heard me complaining all week about it. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was rough. So I'm hoping that I've adjusted to this new treatment, and that this is now what's going. You know, moving forward, we're just get better and better you know yeah. but my voice came back today for the most part it's a little raspy but it's back and the mood lifted a little you know which was a big one mm -hmm. and uh physically i feel better today too so we've both been just dealing with something the last couple of weeks you know yeah well i'm looking forward to like i don't know some, I hate, but Easter's over. It's done. So it's, it's over. It's all with. uphill it from is. here. Yes, it, it is. is. all uphill from yeah. here. I do like the summer. I like the warmer. Like, I like getting outside helps a lot. Yeah. You know, and let's face it, we've all been cooped up for over a year now. Yeah. Like, you know, it's it's rough. It is, you it know. Is. I think I had seen a friend share this on Facebook. I think a lot of us are a little more burnt out than we give ourselves credit for. Yeah. Um. Yes. It's like it's a lot mm -hmm. and I'm not talking about folks with mental health issues necessarily or addiction Just though everybody. those problems have been exacerbated we're talking folks who are rock stars in their everyday life and all of a sudden it's like I just gotta go away yeah <laughs> I love my children, but I can't stand them. <laughs> yeah. No, it's very understandable, too. And burnout is a real thing. It's a real yeah. thing. No matter what your role has been throughout this, whether you're a professional or in the medical field or a parent teaching from home mm -hmm. or a grandparent raising a kid while mom's at work yeah. or, you know, whatever role you're in, it's like double down on the stress. Yeah. And uh, self-care helps. And, you know, we're big on that. I'm big on self-care. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Even that sometimes just keeps your head above water, mm -hmm. you know, to keep your sanity. So, yeah, very true. Very, 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 very true. true. But we hope you're doing well. Are you? Okay. I think, I think, what's that? You're sick of lives on the Foodie Beauty channel? Ah, oh, okay. we are too. Then maybe you did watch. That's okay. <laughs> there was five in one day yesterday, the other Isn't day. Isn't that something else? Well, when you're going to document meeting a stranger, you probably want to have a lot of photo evidence. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. well, you know, you brought up a really good point in the last coffee talk, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, the debate on, okay. Is she a creator or not? You know, is she creating something or not? You know, lives, they're very easy. You turn the camera on and you do whatever you do and then you post it. There, it and there's no creating to it. Now, they're fun. They're, yes. And they're a way for creators to interact with viewers. Definitely. But is there much work put into right, it? Right, right. It depends. There can be, but. 
But, but what I'm saying, <laughs> for the most part, what she's doing. Now, when she started I doing... Mean, I can drive like, you to McDonald's, too. You right. guys want to come? Like, like, like if, okay, you know, we're going to go do a, a, a live mukbang, you know, at, at this restaurant. Or like she did with, like, kind of calling some of her people who were on the live. Like, yeah. that was cute. It mixed it up a little bit. It was different. Yeah. It was There was a little thought put into it. But that, you know, turning the camera on and sitting there and eating... Just over and over and over and over again, you know, know. Um, like what, you know, what what constitutes a creator or, or not? You is know, is like, it a creation? Right. You know, you know is, or, it, it was it was you know. a very interesting point. Like I I never really thought about it like that. And I'm well, like, then yeah, I, that's true. Well, I always try to go vroom vroom. So and then yeah. I'm thinking we do lives. We do we do once we, a week. Once we a week do we do live, lives, yeah. and I've been known on occasion. To throw in a live coffee talk. Yeah. Um, back when uh, caretaking was a series, I had yeah. done a, a, one or two of those live as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a live story time. So they're not impossible to sneak in. And no. I'll, I'll level with you. Sometimes those are inserted by me on days when I can't muster my resources to produce a video. Yeah. But want to share my thoughts on whatever the topic sure. is. And it's easier to have a discussion about it than it is for me to give a presentation about it. Mm-hmm. So I use it for that. However, <laughs> however, however, with that said, <laughs> with that said, we are not a live channel. And if we, we were going to become one, we'd let you guys know. We would let you know. And you know, that's certainly a big wouldn't dir- be five in one day. It's I- a big direction change to go from being a channel that, like, I'm thinking there's a couple of people. What is it? The Voight at the bottom of YouTube. Yeah. Um, I watch Roger Brown. I think he's a riot. And he talks he about funny. talks about following the bottom of YouTube and all that. And there's the one guy, what's his name? Uh, Rich Life. Oh, it was yes. like he's like Elvis travels, but a little less classy, if oh. you can imagine, and oh. just goes place to place, living off super chats, just yeah. travel all all over the place, and it's all lives. Yeah, all he does is lives, but that's his shtick. But that's his thing. His channel is a live channel. Yeah, people don't come there expecting anything else other than right, that. Right, right. So I I don't know. And yeah, and yeah, like you, and she hasn't said, you know, this is the direction of my channel. Like, I, I do want to become a lot, you know, I don't know what, I mean, hey, she can do what she wants. I just thought you had brought up a good point, yeah. one that I had never thought of before, because even videos like this, like our Tuesday chit chat video, there's some work to it. Like, and the creative part comes with the editing and maybe putting some pictures in. Planning a little before, what do little, we want to hit little, topics yeah, up that we want to talk about? you know. Um, and then there's the thinking about, oh, what's going on in the background? You know, that's all part of creating, you know? Um, we've also established that this is a day where our viewers can come see specific chit chat content. Yeah. They're not going to show up on Tuesday and hear, you know, about this this topic. They're not going to see Mondays with Mark on a Tuesday, obviously, you know, so you're not going to get a story time. So we have, we have something closer to programming. Which I know most yeah, channels we don't. Yeah, do, huh? Well, we post daily, so it kind of helps us yeah. to keep it together. And we have a kitty cat. We do have a kitty cat. Two that says hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh. He sounds thrilled. Oh. So. Well, I remember when he would never even step foot up here. No. When the camera was on. He'd leave the room. Gone. He'd be gone because he didn't want to be seen here. He'd make noise in the other room to just screw with us, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> well, I think he might be just a little jealous because I put the little intro of, of Oscar in Oscar. there. Maybe he's a jealous kitty. Oscar's been playing territory games Are with you? Black Kitty. Yes. With this yes. adorable cat. It's not even a kitty, and it's not totally black either. It's it's like copper black colored, mm-hmm. and he's taken up space outside for he Oscar. He's trying to take over his little hut. And his little house. Yeah. And if I put food out and Oscar's eating it and I turn my back ten minutes later, I go back outside. The other cat's eating the food and Oscar's nowhere to be found. So I've been chasing off cats, which I'm not that guy. (laughs) So I I I just chuck something from the porch. I don't like spray bottling cats. Yeah, I don't either. You know, I mean, maybe is this more of you... I have, yeah, I've canned air. I'll, like, spray it in the air. I don't want to freeze his eye, but the noise is enough to get him to run. Yeah, but he's he's adorable and he's very friendly, but... And if there was no Oscar, there would be Black Kitty. You probably... We, we, we would take him. Yeah, we would. I can but tell you, I would want to take is, him. The thing is, is, you know, um, outside, you know, they have to... Like, Oscar won't stand up for himself. He won't stand up against the cat, and they've never fought or anything like that, but they we have heard the... Like the the, the, the the face off, you know, and we think it was them. Yeah, but, but we haven't proven it yet. But Oscar, 
like even now when he comes on the porch, he, you know, he's looking around. He's, like, he's, he's worried, like, you know. Someone's gonna take his food. But he's back to getting into his Sound little familiar. house again, and he's back to. But I don't know. So we'll just see. You have to see how that plays out. I know? don't know. And I guess he won't spray like to mark his territory either. I think this other cat spray. has because now the other cats, all the other cats don't come here except except black just kitty. for the little black kitty. Hmm. So it's it's interesting. It's and interesting. and Oscar's hesitant. He so, is. So yeah. Hmm. And uh, I feel, like, betrayed, because I just went out a second ago, before this, I was like, I need kitty time, and I couldn't find Bandit. So I went outside, and I'm thinking, he'll jump up, and I'll pet him and yeah. everything. I go outside, no food in my hands, walks out of his little house, looks at me, pops right back in. Yeah. Usually he would jump up, and I'd pet him, and say hello, and you're a good boy, and kiss him on the head, mm. and da 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 He wasn't having it. He I didn't have anything it. for him. So he had no use for me. Well, no, that the case is, is that whenever he gets on top now, he's like, he sniffs, he sniffs it and like, he lifts his paws when he like, what, so he, the kitty, ha, that it's his scent or something. Yeah. Well, anyway, bottom line is, is that we'll figure out something. I'm thinking we, we of will. taking him to work and having him be an office kitty. So we'll see how that plays out. And yeah. I'm redoing their whole house because the winter is over now. I'm going to change all the linens and then mm -hmm. I'll throw all the linens away and, and do, you know, redoing it and everything. So we'll start fresh and we'll but see. I just, you know, it's Oscar's place. Yeah, it you is. Know? It's his little house. It was meant to be his. It wasn't meant to be a stray cat no, house. It was meant it to be it. Oscar's little house. Yeah. So we have a, we have a kitty flop house out there. I know. <laughs> it's all sorts of, and Black Kitty doesn't have his ears trimmed and I don't see a collar. So, yeah. but he would, I mean, he's just the sweetest cat. He'd he make is. a great cat. Yeah. You know, we can't mail cats, you know, otherwise, we know, <laughs> otherwise we know some really nice people. Mail you a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> like uh, National <laughs> Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah. The cat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know I don't know but anyway oh I meant to tell you like I really wanted to say thank you everyone for I got so many comments of support from from my video yeah, yesterday I, yeah. I thank you so much for that that it really I mean I, I was saying and you know like I'm uncomfortable talking about personal stuff and I and I am I just get I'm just uncomfortable with it I don't know why and uh, but it it helped me Mm -hmm. a lot and um i know i had said that i was hoping by sharing that story that it could help someone maybe someone can relate to it or maybe someone can feel like they're not alone or whatever you know but you know it definitely helped me too so thank you so much for that that was very very nice i haven't it would it'd be impossible to respond to all every all of them but it was uh, just so nice mm -hmm. it really was and i do i feel better already today and it was because of you yeah. It was. There's something very healing about storytelling. Oh, yes. Something very healing about it. Yeah. There's there probably is. a lot of literature as to why. I, 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 yeah. I don't have it on hand, but, mm. you know, just trust me, it is. But I'm feeling like I'm hungry, you know? Mm hmm So that's a good sign. <laughs> that, is, that is a good sign. I got us um, a chicken cheese steaks for tonight. <gasps> I haven't had... I lived in Philly for, like, about five, six, seven years. And people always say, this place has the best steaks. So yeah. This place has the best steaks. Yeah. When I tell you, I've never had a bad cheesesteak. No, I know. From anywhere. It could be from a truck in the middle of southwest Philadelphia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it could have been from Pat's or Gino's or John's King of Steaks or wherever in the Northeast that you think you do it better. Yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Any, I've never had a bad one. I've never had a bad one. And a chicken yeah. cheese steak is a good fake out because it really doesn't taste too much different than a cheese steak. It really doesn't. No. It doesn't because it's shredded. It's I haven't chunks. had one forever. It's like shredded. Ch think think steakums made out of chicken. Yeah. That's what they use for the meat and then mm. chop it up and throw it all in. Oh, but the great debate who has the best. Oh, it's for for burgers, too. Mm -hmm. It's like people, you know, we the, the best burger in the world. You know my favorite burger in the whole world? I'm anxious if anybody knows this place because I believe at one point they were a national chain, but I don't think, I think there's one left. We found one. We remember? did. We were in, we were uh, doing Indiana our, or Kentucky. Yeah. We were on a trip or something. We found it. It's called GD Ritzy's. Yeah. And they had those crispy flat burgers. Yeah. They're burgers and the edges are like crispy mm -hmm. and they And the fries were good. Oh, the it, fries were good. That's 
my favorite burger in the ever. Yeah, and and I, I, know, don't, I should bah, duh, Google. I could Google it, but I did. Like, I haven't. But I'm curious. Anywhere, does anybody know that place? We happened to go somewhere within ten miles of it, so we had to go. Yeah, it was next to this like. I think there was still a blockbuster video there for some yeah. reason. We were buying like old movies and stuff. It was this they were weird all little clearance. stop. Yeah, and I'm like, what is that? Sonic. <laughs> like, nope. I'm like, oh no, that's Judy Richie's. Oh my gosh. It oh, was that was like a vacation treat. Get yourself a bag of burgers. Uh huh. So, yeah, it was nice. Oh, speaking of eating, oh, we have a fun episode tomorrow, don't we? We do. We're going to be traveling again tomorrow and tasting and reviewing. This time we're going all the way to Turkey. Mm hmm. We got, we got our. Some Turkish. Treats. Turkish treats. Oh, yeah. Very exciting. This will be fun. So we're going to do a tasting and review much like we did the, uh, like with the Kit Japanese Kit Kats. So, um, and this is all from Turkey. So that'll be cool. There's candy and snacks in here. It's not just candy. Oh, there's savories. Oh, too. yes. So that'll be fun for tomorrow. We'll I think we'll keep, we'll do that every once in a while. We'll just go all around the world. Yeah. I have an adventurous palate. Yes. Most, most days I'll eat pretty much anything. What country should we go to next? Oh, so I don't know. So we did know. Japan and we are going to do Turkey. Uh, I don't know. Let's pick somewhere we know nothing about. Let's get some education. Well, I know nothing about <laughs> Turkey or Japan. I know Istanbul was once Constantinople. It was. It was. Yeah. Very and, good. um... Oh, I just glancing, I saw there was Mexico. Well, there's probably every... I don't know. I'll try to find some kind of... Is there a country you want us to try? Let us know. In yeah, the I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of something like obscure, like really, really, like 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 any European country to me is kind of like. Well, well there's so many, you know, and they they tend to get like. You can find a lot of European specialties in American stores. You can, yeah. You know, it's not so like oh, clotted cream. What like, about you, Greenland? You can find that around Greenland. Ain't no shit in Greenland. Oh, it's owned by Denmark, I think. Is it? So we can get I Danish never shit. Knew that. We can do that. That's interesting. I think that's true. What What else is obscure? I don't know. Is the North Pole an actual like country or place that has like it's a, there's snacks? A, there's a specific place that no, it's not like organized like that. I okay. don't think well, that's neither is uh, Antarctica. To my well, knowledge. I know um, we I already got some Pakistan. Vegemite in the mail, so that was different. Oh, that was definitely different. That's from Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, that was that was different. The Vegemite was a little bit different. Yeah, is there anything that's going on in Africa? Because I know nothing about anything about sweet or savory cuisine. But there's a lot of country like I could well we'll, we'll look it up. It's but like, if you have a suggestion, it's like when let people say know. Asia, like Asia isn't specific to any specific <laughs> right. thing. But I know nothing like <laughs> South Africa, Ghana, Egypt, Northern Africa, like Ooh, Morocco, Egypt, or cool anything one. like that. Like this, it's it's one continent with so much diversity, yeah. and I'm ignorant to most of it. Yeah. So um, yeah. I'd be interested to see if we could eat our way through. Oh, that'd be so and fun. Find our way around. <laughs> Five years from now and a hundred pounds later, yeah, we have circled the globe. Well, tasting snacks from around the world. Foodie. Sounds good to me. Foodie dudes. Foodie some... dudes. Yeah. Ah, that's so funny. <laughs> we just eat our way to a Foodie duty. Yeah, foodie duty. I might have called her that once or twice. Uh, <laughs> I think a few people probably have. Speaking oh of gosh. sweets, I finally broke down and made a dentist appointment. <gasps> Very good. I'm proud I of you. I did. It's not that I... I'm not afraid of the dentist, but I don't like the dentist. I am. But who does? Yeah, you know? Yeah, I don't know anyone who said, oh, I love going to Well, I've never gone to the dentist and had sedation dentistry, ever. Never? No. Oh, it's the only way I go. I've never. I didn't know it was a thing. Well, the thing is, though, I, when I was growing up, my parents didn't have dental insurance. Mm -hmm. So it was mostly on the honor system and some payment plans. Even when I had braces, which at the time, the price of braces hasn't changed. They're still about $3,500 to $4,000 locally. I know it changes regionally. Mm -hmm. But around here, whether it's the Invisalign or the old metal ones, it's the yeah. same type of thing. So they were always paid over time. So then when I was an adult and I had dental insurance, I was like, well, I don't, you know... So I didn't go for a while. And then there was a plague. And I didn't go again. Yes. And. Guilty. You know, I had teeth. I had six teeth pulled in order to get braces. No sedation. I would go once a week, every week for six weeks. And I went, got, got a tooth pulled. pulled after school. They just yank one out. By the time yeah. one healed, they'd pull another one. Mm. And okay. then I had to have a couple root canals. And then a few crowns put on. No mm. sedation. Mm. Nothing. Not it e makes it a not lot even easier. an Ativan. Nothing. It, it, it makes it easier to rip. Like, well, I'm going to a place that does the gas. That's, that's they do what the I nitrous. Get, they said yeah. it'll feel like a dream. It's nice. It's a pleasant feeling. It is, and it it does take. It doesn't. 
it's not like a painkiller or anything, but it it does. You kind of drift away, like you know, it's nice. It is. It's nice. I hope Controlled I, like that and everything. It does make it easier. I hope it I don't does. Throw up from the gas. It makes it easier. I I too have to. I've been putting it off. I need some. I need a lot of dental work done, and uh, so I'm glad you did this because. Mm -hmm. You know, now I can say, when are you going? Yeah. And I can go to where you're going and yeah. it'll, it, this is good. This I, is a good, thing. I can blackmail you for another, what was it with the glasses? And oh blackmail yeah. And you. that, that started all this or birthday? I don't know. It was birthday. Yeah. Me wanting you to Christmas get glasses gave you sarcoidosis. Yeah. No, that's what, that's it, how it works. Well, that's how they found it. Yeah. But you would have just been ignorant to having the same you're issue. Right. You're right. Ignorance is bliss. But then you would have been walking around for the last few years going, God, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. God, I can't move my arm today i can't stand yeah i can't I know. and it would have yeah, been a big bad. mystery we've been feeding your herbs and shit or going <laughs> keto trying to cure it naturally take the damn steroids <laughs> <laughs> so well yeah but it, uh, the point is is that i that, too need to get it done and i'm scared yeah. to death of the dentist i any other doctor i mean i hate the eye doctor but i uh, see i love I have a but fear I've been, of the dentist i've been going to the eye doctor since i was like six mm -hmm. i've had glasses forever i have terrible vision i can't see you now at this distance um so i don't mind the eye doctor the dentist i never liked because they always did a massive amount of work yeah. you know i've had thin enamel and now as an older one i, I smoke i used yeah. to drink like a fish i drink a lot of coffee i had bulimia so my back teeth are not all they could be mm -hmm. either i have three crowns in the back this one's reconstructed i think it's gonna have to come out anyway mm -hmm. Um, my insurance only covers like a hundred percent of the basic stuff and yeah. then like 60% of the good stuff. And I'm interested in bonding because I can tell when they clean, there's going to be gaps. There's, gaps the, there's going to yeah. be gaps in the yeah. gum where the gum receded because I've treated my body like a speed bump. Well, I, mean, I can <laughs> The relate. teeth are at the beginning I, of my digestive I, tract and I've trashed my, the whole thing. Am I the same thing? I mean, I, of course I had years of doing bad things, you know, drugs, which took a toll on it. And then um, the medications I've been on for three years now mm -hmm. make literally make your bones and teeth brittle, you know? And yeah. so I, I do need some work done too. And I just wish that I could go in, they knock me out and I wake up a month later with all new teeth. It takes Is that a, possible. It takes, from what I saw, it can take a long time for implants to heal because they have to basically take the roots out and screw it, screw into, your it jaw. into your jaw yeah. and then when that heals they can screw the tooth in yeah and i thought if i had the means i know where to be i have nowhere to be for four months now i should have done it four months ago of well course, if i, I had the means i would do it too. of course yeah. the best estimate i found locally is about twelve hundred dollars of implant a, a tooth. that doesn't count Thousand anesthesia tooth, so know. and there's no way unless i needed an implant because i got my teeth knocked out in an accident there's mm -hmm. no way my insurance would pay to get them put back in yeah or if they had to remove it to get to a tumor underneath that sucks like, that it comes dental insurance isn't considered part of health insurance at least not it's in the united not states here it isn't if no. bernie sanders has his way you can get hearing aids dental and vision it kind of through a government health yeah. plan the one that he's always been pushing yeah. but I pay separate. My health insurance is different from my dental. Yeah. is different from my vision. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have like the basic of the basic, you know? So, I mean, I'm talking, even if I, I don't even care if they were dentures, like just to not have to worry about it again and the mm -hmm. pain and going to the dentist and all that too. But it's just like, you said the means, yeah. like even with insurance, you know, my, my last quote, like that I had, mm -hmm. and this was a year, this was right before the pandemic hit. I did go and then the pandemic hit and they closed down, but, um, my, it was $4,000. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have it. So I don't have it like that. I don't have it like that. I mean, if it's, <laughs> if it's a matter of like, what if, what if one of us loses a job or what if one of us gets, yeah. a, gets a veneer, like. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 there's no, <laughs> right. there's no yeah. comparison in my not. head. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. It's I can live with a cavity for another year. You know, we can't miss a car payment. Like no. there's there's yeah. certain things that have to go this way or that way, and that's not e begging for teeth, mind you. It's just e begging for teeth. Yeah, I'm broke. Replace my teeth. Oh my god! It's like someone's gonna send us some dentures in the mail. <laughs> of all the things That's I've been for, right. <laughs> I know, right? You can mark it down on your flexible spending card, so I can bill it to you as well. Oh yeah, it you comes out pre-tax. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. I can put it on my flex. Um, if I wait till July, it re up. But, but between the two of us, oh my gosh, we're looking at like twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs>
Uh, my teeth look not too bad, but when you get up close, you can see that there's mm -hmm. some some stuff. In you know, plus so. two, it really has an effect on on mental health too. Like I I remember um, before I had the the work done that I I had years ago when I first moved here, yeah. I had bad teeth, and I, every time I would I would you know smile, I would go ha <laughs> ha, cover my mouth. I was so self conscious all mm -hmm. the time, you know, until I got that done, mm -hmm. and it's getting to that point again. You know, yeah. I can already I'm I'm like. <laughs> so you know it's i i'm, I'm gonna get it done i get what i can get yeah. done i'm gonna get done you know for for health too of course, i'm considering because... dropping some money this time because i don't yeah. i'm like pushing 40 and i'd rather keep my own team i mean I yeah we, there's financing there's things that they're, they always they're say they'll fine. work with you i'm like yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. you'll work with me what do, <laughs> what do you want they want more than like my rent, my phone, <laughs> my electric bill. It's true. Like, I have no other bills to pay. <laughs> and it's not for anything cute either. It's just for, like, I mean, I just want some. Yeah, they do need a little bit of reform on, on specifically dental. I mean, cosmetic dentistry, of course. I mean, the bonding, yeah, I, can, I can live without bonding. Yeah. I'm not going to die. I'll just no. be unhappy with the way my teeth look. But um, <laughs> How do we get on this subject? Oh, you made an appointment. Because I'm going to the dentist. You are very, very good. Very proud. On the twelfth, so yes. I'll I'll let y'all know the next day because twelfth <laughs> is a Monday, I mm. think. So I'll let yeah, you know it is the next day. Well, that's all I got for now. That's all I got too. Now that I got myself all worked up about getting my teeth done, I know now. Though I'm, I'm less worried about, about cracking a tooth right now, actually, mm. because I always worry that I'm going to crack my tooth. Like I don't eat apples, I don't eat corn on the cob. Well, corn on the cob, I'll do if it's overdone. But I'm always afraid I'll bite into something and smash it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, today's the day. And we have all these snacks to eat tomorrow now. I know. Well, I might as well get it in before I get my shit cleaned up. Well, this is so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you all for joining us for yes. another Best Day of the Week Tuesday. <laughs> Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, and the thumbs up on your way out. Your riveting content. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark, or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark, or on Twitter at Smokey Steve A. Our email and contact info is all listed below as well. Thank you again, and we will catch up with you tomorrow for some... Sweet treats. Oh, yes, we some will. Some savory treats. Some Turkish delight. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I am. Oh, man. Thanks for spending your time with us. Have a great rest of the evening and a great rest of the week. Tomorrow's hump day, y'all. Halfway through. All right. Remember to stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive, okay? See you next time. Bye. Ciao.